Hello and welcome back. It's Monday. You know what that means. Sales update video. This is for the week of August 17th through August 23rd. I sold a total of 40 items this past week for an average sale price of $34.15, which is pretty, uh, pretty good for me. So without further ado, let's see what I sold. First up is this uh, New With Tags Hard Rock Cafe from Seoul. I actually um, picked up two of these at a Salvation Army some time back. One large, one extra large. I sold the other one some time back, and then this one finally sold. Sat for a couple months. I ended up selling it for a best offer of $30, plus $13 to ship it to Germany. And then I sold this nice blazer, Hickey Freeman. It was a, a great jacket. It was a, let's see, a size 44 regular. Sold this for the sale price of $59.99. As I said before, I always pretty much have a 25% off sale running. So this sold for $59.99 with free shipping. I actually sold this once before and it was returned to me. I think I sold it for a little bit less than this too. It was returned because it didn't fit right. So this one, uh, I just relisted it and sold it for more. And then next is this Robert Graham, just the RNG tag here. Nothing special about it, but you never pass up a Robert Graham. And I sold this for a sale price of $29.99. And then I got this uh, new Tags Flame Resistant Carhartt Work Shirt. Ended up selling this for the sale price of $37.49. That was a pretty quick flip, too. It only took a day or two to sell. And then this Kuji long sleeve polo, nice parrot embroidery. I always pick up this brand, it usually sells pretty quickly for me. I just get the wild their designs like this one. Sold this for a best offer of $25. And then I had these new tags women's Levi jeans. Sold these for the sale price of $22.49 plus $5.35 to ship it in a flat rate bubble mailer. And then I have this Bobby Jones Polo. This brand is hit and miss with me. Some sell really quick, some sit for a while. This one was pretty quick, I think a week or two. I ended up selling that for a um, best offer of $24. And then next up, I uh, lotted together these two Thomas Pink French Cuff Slim Fit Dress Shirts. Uh, these actually sold within a week of listing them, so Thomas Pink usually sits for a while, so that's why I listed them, hoping to, I mean, that's why I put them together, hoping to flip them quickly, and it worked. So I actually sold these for the sale price of $59.99. And then I had this uh, Robert Graham. Again, nothing special about this one. It's not the cool embroidery logo. I ended up selling this for the sale price of $29.99. And then I have this Harley Davidson button up. Pretty plain looking shirt except for that nice embroidery there on the uh, on the right. That's the main reason I picked it up. It even had a broken button, but I let them know that there was extra buttons included. I took a best offer of $25 on that. And then I had this new with tags Levi's red denim button up shirt. Ended up selling this for the sale price of $37.49. And then next is this Bugacci Omo button up shirt. Striped pretty plain. You can see by my crappy pictures. I've had this for a long time before I got better at taking pictures. And I sold this for a sale price of uh, $14.99 plus $2.99 shipped. So I was happy to get rid of that. And then again, another shirt that had been sitting for a long time. It's this Tommy Bahama. Ended up selling this for $16.49 sale price plus $13.50 to ship it to France. So I was glad to see that one go. Then I had these cool uh, Nike Air camouflage shorts new with tags and I ended up selling these for a best offer of $45 and then the next two items were from Bonanza I usually only sell one or two items here a month so I sold this 
Tasso Elba Nua Tags tie. And this Brooks Brothers Makers tie to the same person for $15 a piece. So a total of $30 free shipping. So that was a good sale there. For ties that only cost me, I think, probably $0.99 cents or $1.99. And then next up is this Tommy Bahama short sleeve shirt, size small. Had this listed for quite a while, finally sold, and for a uh, best offer of $24 plus $14 to ship it to Denmark. Although the guy hasn't paid me yet, I had to open up an unpaid item case the other day, and he messaged me saying he was on vacation and he couldn't pay till he got home. And I'm just going to let the case ride until I'm able to close it, and then if I can close it before he pays, oh well, I'll block him and relist. Because if you're on vacation, you can still pay on your phone. So I don't know what his holdup is or his excuses, but I don't play those games. So Next, I have these Life Khaki New Tag pants. Found a whole bunch of Life Khaki and Doctors at a Goodwill once, all about 24 pairs of New Tags. And this is one of them. And surprisingly, they've all sold overseas pretty much. This sold for a best offer of 23 plus 16 to ship it to Switzerland. And then next up is this um, Harris Tweed Blazer. Real nice blazer. Nice herringbone. I ended up taking a best offer of 60 on that. And then this long sleeve uh, Harley Davidson t shirt with the flames on it. Pretty cool shirt from uh, Chicago. Ended up selling that for a best offer of $25. And then this Patagonia Lamb's Wool Long Sleeve Hoodie, full zip, took a uh, best offer of $40 on that, sold within a few days of listing. And then next is this New with Tags Oakley uh, Crew Neck Sweatshirt. I got this when I was on vacation in Florida back in May. Just finally sold it for a best offer of $37. Next is this Ermini Gildo Zegna blazer, kind of a greenish color to it. It's uh, soft, whatever. It's a label of theirs, plus $28 shipping. I sold it for um, best offer of $70, plus $28 to ship it to the United Kingdom. So that was a pretty good sale. Another Harley Davidson shirt from St. Petersburg, Florida. And I ended up selling that for best offer of. Uh, $18. And then we have this Daniel Kramux. I don't know how to say his name. But I uh, don't usually pick up this brand, but this had a pretty wild design, so I grabbed it. Ended up selling that for a best offer of $23. And then next is this awesome Elvis Presley uh, Hard Rock Cafe Las Vegas shirt I picked up last week at Salvation Army. It was used, but it was in mint condition. The other completed sales showed the highest price at $49.95 for a uh, brand new one from Hard Rock, Ontario. So I listed mine at $49.99, hoping to just get a good best offer. And it ended up selling. I don't know why it shows best offer accepted, but it was actually sold for $49.99 plus $15 to ship it to Finland. Maybe because the buyer who did end up buying it made me an offer at about 1.30 in the morning for $44. And then I was sleeping, so I didn't get it till I woke up. And he must have got antsy because at 6.30 in the morning he bought it for the full price of $49.99. So that was a quick flip. Sold within the day of listing it. And then next is this Territoria head jacket I had listed for quite a while. Ended up taking a... Uh, Best offer of $35.99 plus $6.99 to ship that, so I'm glad to get rid of it. And then we have this new Tag Lacoste dress shirt, size 44. Ended up taking a best offer of $45 on this plus $15 to ship it to Peru. And that one also sold within about a day or two of listing it. Then we got these Clark's Women's uh, Shoes. I listed these Friday night, I think, and I got it within 45 minutes. Someone made an offer of $35, and I accepted that. 
And then they have not paid me, so I opened up an unpaid item case for that today. So we'll see what happens there. And then I have this cool Warner Brothers uh, Marvin the Martian denim zip-up jacket. Size small. I usually get anything Looney Tunes or cartoon related. Sells pretty good. Sold this for a sale price of $29.99. And then next we have this Patagonia, just a little short sleeve uh, button-up shirt. Ended up selling that for the sale price of $29.99. And then this Cole, I think that's how you pronounce it, not sure. It's an outdoor shirt, short sleeve. Had this listed for about 24 hours. I ended up selling that for the sale price of $29.99. And then we have these Skecher men's shoes. Had these listed for about a month or so. These were a size 13, decent size. Sold these for a best offer of $55. So it cost me $5. That was a nice profit there. And then next is this Orvis shirt I had listed for quite a while. So I ended up taking a best offer of $20 on that over the weekend. I was happy to get rid of it. And then my best sale of the weekend was these Urban Gildo Zegna jeans. Had these listed for about a month or two. I listed them as new without tags, mainly because they were mint and they still had these uh, this button attached to the tag inside. So if it had been washed, I would assume it wouldn't look like that. So took a shot there. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. But I ended up selling that for a best offer of ninety-seven forty-nine. And then we got this Victor Knox uh, Swiss Army uh, Polo. This brand usually sells pretty well, pretty quick. Ended up selling that for uh, $29.99, so that was a good sale. And then this bulk of classics, I've had this for a long time since I started flipping these clothing items, and it was a bad pickup. I wouldn't buy this brand again, but I was picking up a bunch of Hawaiian shirts at the time, trying to get my feet wet with those, and so I was happy to get rid of this for a sale price of $9.74 plus $2.99 shipping. And then this Harley Davidson 3XL long sleeve shirt, pretty cool. Always pick up Harley. Nothing crazy about it, no big logos, but it finally sold uh, for the sale price of $37.49, so that was a good sale. And then this Robert Graham, again, not the great embroidered logo. I mean, it's got the embroidered name, but not the wild logo. So I sold that for a best offer of $35. And then finally, this new tag Chaps shirt. I took a best offer of $25 over the weekend, so that was my last sale on Sunday night. So that does it, all 40 items I sold. So uh, leave a comment below of uh, some of your best sales for the week if you'd like. Any other videos you'd like me to post other than my sales update and haul videos. I'm still trying to work on some other ones about my eBay business. And uh, if you're not already a member of our Facebook group, Sellers Helping Sellers on eBay and Amazon, the link's below in the description. Great group, great uh, great uh, info on there on selling on Amazon and eBay. So uh, until next time, I will talk to you later.